24 meter approach. Intense concentration. Yushchenko Volt laid out. One step on landing, but that's a good start. She must perform a different vault for her second Lincoln attempt. Lincoln is in, in replay. And Round off onto the board, and there's the layout stretch Salto, and just that one large step on landing. Anticipation here as she waits for the judge's signal to begin her second attempt. Handspring, pike front salt, that was a solid performance. That'll improve her average. Two different vaults must be shown, and Megan's very pleased with that second vault. A handspring piked one and a half front somersault. And she should be pleased with that vault. It was very well done, with a good distance on landing and a good stable landing. And we'll see those characteristics here in replay. Handspring pushes from the horse one and a half somersault in the piked position. Solid vault indeed. So two strong vaults from our first competitor, a score of nine, five, one, two. The second finalist tonight, Irina Gulov of the Soviet Union. Irina, very small in stature, but like all the Soviet gymnasts, extremely powerful. Using the vault. Oh, that's solid. Just that one small step. She'll be looking at only a one or two tenth deduction for that one step. And we can see her giving her little instruction to her coach to just adjust the takeoff board or the beat board. Here's the Yushchenko and re replay. You can see the distance the girls must achieve to score well in this vault. Second vault now for Gulov of the Soviet Union. Handspring, front salt, oh, solid. That's what the judges are looking for, a very stable landing from a handspring one and a half front somersault. Now it's critical the girls show two very different vaults. In other words, they must be from different families. So generally, generally we will see a forward vault as we see here, the handspring with a one and a half front somersault and they may combine this type of vault with a backward approach. Excellent vault. And Golub showing plenty of versatility on this apparatus. Nine, five, seven, five. Ranked fifth coming into this vault final from the Soviet Union, Ludmila Stobjataya. Very powerful approach to the horse. Handspring, pike front salt half twist. That's a different vault. Again, just that one step on landing. She'll be reflecting on that performance as she returns to her starting point. We'll be looking for a more stable landing on her second vault. Here in replay, handspring, pike front somersault half turn, plenty of distance in that pre-flight. And now with her second vault, the stop to tire of the Soviet Union. Preparing for second vault now. 24 meter approach. Round off. Full twisting Yushchenko. Again that one step on landing. Peter this time not only one step, but she looked as though she traveled sideways in direction. Yes, and that deviation was obvious to us and our viewers, Peggy. Perhaps not as obvious to the judges who actually sit at right angles to the performance. Let's see it here. There's the full twist in the layout solo. Yes, she definitely has moved sideways. And not quite nailing the landings on either vault. Nine, seven, six, two. Starting her first vault is Isabella Lakatis of Romania. Yurchenko with a full twist, very strong, stable landing. Made it look so easy. The beauty of these vaults with the backward approach is that they can create greater power from the horse, obtain 
more height in flight and consequently do more twists in their somersaults. So obviously this is why this bolt is chosen by the international stars here. Here in replay, plenty of height in that full twisting somersault. And now for her second vault, Lakatus of Romania, previously placed in major international events on, on this apparatus. Oh, handspring front somersault, just slightly underbalanced. She hopped backwards. And that was Isabella Lakatush of Romania. And she also, Peter, will be able to see again her legs separated as she came in the front somersault. The judges will see that. We'll look for those form breaks now in replay. There's a handspring. Yes, legs are apart a little bit. Look at that. Landing is a little bit under-rotated. And following her 9-9 in the all-arounder, 9-7-7-5 for Lucatus. And now to vault Catherine Everett of Great Britain. It's certainly an open field at this moment on the vault final. Yushenko full twist. That's a competent performance by the British girl. Catherine receiving some instructions from her coach in preparation for the second vault. The Yushenko vault now. Hands to the horse, full twisting somersault, some slight loss of form there on the legs during post-flight. And we welcome Catherine Everett for her second vault. Second vault now for Catherine Everett. Must be a different vault. She's done a Sukahara in the laid out position. And for Catherine, a little bit short in the distance on her landing and the judges will obviously be taking marks for that particular. We'll look for that error here, Peggy. There's the pre-flight of the vault. The post-flight must show substantial distance. Yes, it's far too short, far too close to the horse. So a little short in the post flight, a 9.425 for Catherine. From Romania, Lavinia Milovici for the first fault. And she comes to this apparatus ranking first. Tremendous pressure on her to perform. Round off, full twisting Yurchenko, superb distance and height. She knows what she's doing on this apparatus. A very confident performer. Here's the Yushenko now. Round off onto the board. Back handspring to the horse. Full twist. Very clean lines there. Just that one hop before a steady landing. Milosovic is in fact the European junior champion on this event. So she'll be one cool customer when it comes to international competition, very capable of the highest level of vaulting performance. Here's a second vault now. Handspring, front salt half twist, oh, super vault. The judges won't have much room to move here. They've got to give this a very high score indeed. That was a fantastic ball, Peter. The control, the height, the distance, everything you look for in the rule book was done. Certainly was, Peggy. And here's one happy pair as they leave the apparatus. In replay, look for this landing. There's the handspring. One and a half front somersault with a half twist, and it's very solid indeed. She top scored in the all-around and could be likewise here with a 9.9. And what a thrill for Joanna Hughes of Australia, her first international final. And let's look at her first vault. A very confident run. Round off and a full twisting Yurchenko. Slight hop forward on landing, which will be a deduction, but a great performance for the first time in an apparatus final at this level. Receiving advice from her coach, Fiona Colbert, 
Young Joanna trains at the Victorian Institute of Sport. Joanna is a very powerful gymnast. Good body lines there in the layout, just that small hop, the only blemish in that performance. Joanna is ranked fourth coming into this event and is a very determined young lady, knows exactly what she has to do and at 13 years of age is going out and doing it. Joanna preparing for her second bolt, mentally preparing herself. It's very strong, Ron. Handspring front somersault, well landed, legs slightly apart in the salt, but she should be very pleased. And Peggy, that form break in her legs will still be hard to pick up. And let's have a look at this in replay. There's the handspring onto the vault, good tuck position, strong landing. I don't think the judges will notice that, Peter. You have to wonder where the nerves are in this 13-year-old. 9-7-3-7. And the final competitor in the vault finals tonight, Laura Timmons of Great Britain. Laura, the national champion. Oh, and we can see why she is the national champion of Great Britain. That was a solid handspring, one and a half pike somersault. Her coach, Colin Still, just giving some instructions for a second vault now. The pressure's on this young lady as she's seen what's gone before. Her first vault and replay, there it is, handspring, piked one and a half somersaults and a very good landing. And now the second vault for Laura Timmons of Great Britain. Plenty of anxiety here as she waits. There's some expectation on this young lady. She's the last finalist here. She's just performed a very creditable first vault. She's looking for a sound performance on a second. It could even place her in, in the uh, medals here if she can perform a very stable landing. Waiting for the judge's signal now. She's received it, ready to commence her 24 meter approach. Layout Sukahara, but there is one large step on landing. That's probably removed her from medal contention, but nevertheless, two excellent vaults from the great British gymnast. And we'll have a look at her vault and replay. There's the hands bring backwards onto the vault, the back somersault in the layout position, slight form breaks, and certainly the step on landing will be noticed. So the Sukahara not quite performed as she would have liked, 9.537. The Romanians and the Soviets have had a great battle throughout these four nights, but the Romanians have got the Quinella up in the women's vault, Lavinia Milosovic and Isabella Lakatas finishing first and second, Ludmila Stovchataya of the Soviet Union third. From the Wild West. Plenty of pressure on these girls tonight. They perform so creditably in the all rounds. What can she do in finals here? She's done her first release, second release. Oh, she's caught it. Well done. Kylie's only got to finish her giant swings on the high bar. Here they go. Now fly away. Double fly away. Oh, that's a good landing. That's a good performance by our first Australian here in the uneven bars final. Kylie Shadbolt. Looks very relieved and very pleased with herself. Good routine. It's always hard to lead up for your country in a finals event. In replay, we can see that sky-high Delchev somersault returning to the low bar. It's interesting to notice the width of the bars here. It allows the girls to swing their giant swings, as we can see here. Just missing the low bar, and here's the double flyaway. That's a good landing. Good effort first up from Kylie Shadbolt throwing down the challenge, 9-7-5. And now, the next competitor on uneven bars, Xu Li Ying of China. The Chinese known for their excellence on this event. Watch the quality of their swing and their very high release movements. The girls are required to have at least one release, but at this level of competition, we see more than one. And look at that, that's an original movement. 
She's doing L grip giants taken from men's horizontal bar straight into the Jaeger somersault. That'll receive bonus points from the judges. Just a slight overbalance there. Kachev, second, oh, she's fallen. Totally unexpected. Now this is a great disappointment as this girl has just shown a movement that's never been performed pre previously in the world and yet she's fallen on her second release. No chance of a medal in finals, double fly away to finish. And the look of disappointment, and I have to just echo that, sure. I don't think I have seen such a high release on the first movement she did. It was absolutely magnificent. We'll perhaps see this fall now. There's the Sakachev. Oh, she had the bar. It's hard to say what caused that fall there from her second release, the Kachev straddle. What a shame she came unstuck, a 9-3-2-5. And now to bars, Irina Gulov of the Soviet Union. The Soviets also technically excellent on this event. First release, Jaeger somersault. Oh, beautiful handstand to the low bar. Pop that one right where it should go. Second release, Kachev, no problem for this young champion. Interesting dismount here, double front half twist, oh, superb! That's a great routine. It's reflected in the expression on her face and the crowd response, superb routine. And interestingly, she doesn't wear any hand grips in her work. That is fascinating, Peggy, and uh, she must have very tough hands. And here's that Jaeger somersault, but look at that handstand to the low bar. She stopped right on top of the bar. But what's fascinating about this excellent routine is the novel dismount. Normally the girls do a backward somersault dismount, but here we see a double front somersault dismount. And very difficult to execute and spot on landing. And she's done just that. Very precise and innovative. It had to score well a 9.75. Milosovic of Romania now to perform in the uneven bars finals. Milosovic, the European junior champion. Shaposhnikova to the high bar. First release. That was a little low on the regrasp on the low bar. She's regained well. Second release, catch of straddle. The coach is allowed to stand in as an added safety factor. Giant swing. Just dismount to go full in double back somersault. Extreme difficulty shown in the dismount. She's completed that routine well with just a couple of small blemishes throughout the routine. There's that first release, Ginga Somersault, just a little short on that uh, half turn over the low bar. The gymnast required to move to the low bar twice during the routine. However, the routine must predominantly consist of swings. There are no stops allowed. There was the Kachev straddle release. Look for the dismount, full twist into a double somersault. And that effort puts Milosovic in front, 9.775. And now a special performance on the uneven bars by Yang Bo of China. Yang Bo was in fact the gold medalist on this event in the inaugural Australian Grand Prix in 1989 and is a finalist in this event at world championship level. Look for something special here. Reverse grip giants, half turn. Look at the height of that Jaeger somersault, returns to the low bar. Excellent rhythm in this routine, and that's an indication of the technical excellence of the Chinese gymnast. Full twisting giant, just fly away. Oh, one small hop, just one small movement on landing. But that's a very small penalty for such a world-class routine. Currently, all around first position in the China Cup competition in 1991. And as we have a look at her again, and these very difficult release movements. The Chinese not only technically perfect on this apparatus, they also carry that elegance and the exquisite pointed feet they all have in their work. Just look for this landing fault. 
it's ever so small, but the judges won't miss it. And more of the excellence we've come to expect from Yang Bo, a 9-8 to put her in the lead. To culminate this tension-packed, uneven bars final, we're about to view Monique Allen of Australia. Now, Monique is a gold medalist at the recent Commonwealth Games on this event. She's capable of a medal on this piece of equipment. The next She's the last finalist. She's seen what's gone before. Plenty of pressure on our national champion. <laughs> Mounting with a straddle over the low bar. Looking for the first release now. Kachev straddle, beautifully performed. Rhythm is good at this stage. Second release, no problems for Monique. That was a Ginga somersault named after the famous East German world champion. Giant swing. Full twisting giant now, just double solo. Oh yes! That's a world class routine. She knows what she's done here tonight. That's got to be a medal performance. Has to be by Monique Allen of Australia. And look at the embrace from Kylie. I can find very little wrong with that performance. Beautifully high catch head straddle. Now the Ginga somersault. No problems. Very secure. Just dropped onto the bar. Please prepare to leave the floor. Just the dismount to come. She's looking for an absolutely stable landing. Giant swing. Look at those beautiful lines. Full twist. And now the double flyaway. Spots it all the way to the ground. That's world-class performance by our Monique Allen. And it was a 9.875 for Monique Allen. She beat Yang Bo. She beat everybody. And it's gold for Australia. Lavinia Milosevic of Romania was third. Listen to an American. She had bad luck on the uneven bars, and I'm sure she's very determined to make that up on this first apparatus. Beautiful press to handstand, an immediate Healy twirl. That's an original element, Peggy, and she'll receive bonus from the judges for that. Very good to get some bonus points right at the beginning of your routine. You see her concentrating to prepare for one of her acrobatic series. Oh, beautifully executed. Flick back to two back layouts. L lovely high leaps. And that's a requirement on balance beam. The girls must show a series of gymnastic or leap movements. And demonstrating the required pivot. We often take that pivot for granted, but it's just as difficult as many of the tumbling movements. Superb, full twisting Corbett. And a very, very difficult leap, showing immediate flexibility and an interesting choreography of composition of linking movements. Looking backwards to the end of the beam, preparing for her dismount. Round off. Double back somersault, very small step, but she has redeemed herself from those uneven bars. Great beam routine. That's a good start for this balance beam final. Very difficult to lead up on this event, the most difficult of the four women's Olympic apparatus. And she's done well. She sent the, set the benchmark for the others to follow. And she did it with grace, confidence and poise. There's that full twisting Corbett Salto. The girls are required to perform movements at many levels, low to the beam and high to the beam. Demonstrating that difficult leap where the back of the leg comes up to touch the head. Full of difficulty and yet it was graceful throughout. A 9.825 for Shirley Ying. Ludmilla Stoptataya of the Soviet Union. Watching the judges waiting for the signal to begin her balance beam routine. She's currently ranking, ranking second and obviously will be out to win a medal on this apparatus. S 
slight wobble on the beginning of a routine. When you consider that a beam routine is really a floor exercise routine, that combines gymnastic and acrobatic movements, but it's only 10 centimeters wide, it helps us understand how difficult it really is. And another full twisting Corbett Salto. It almost seems to be a compulsory element. Interesting choreography. Well controlled, good leap series, showing amplitude and very good confidence. She does an awful lot of work with her arms on this balance beam. Everything seems to be concentrated with the arm movements. Preparing for her dismount, round off. Double back somersault with a full twist. Good routine from Stovtataya of the Soviet Union. They're very businesslike on beam Peggy. And as you indicated, there's plenty of movement, plenty of arm movement, and that's important. That keeps the attention of the judges on what they're doing. Here in replay, round or uh, rather flick flack, full twisting core, but that's a very difficult acrobatic series. And to a very interesting piece of choreography. And some fine original work in there for a 975 stop to Chaya. Milosevic from Romania knows what to do on this apparatus. She was second in the balance beam at the Junior European Championships and a very good start to her routine, a delayed somersault mount. This apparatus, because of the difficulty of working on it, demands tremendous time in the training sessions. In fact, a greater portion of time than any of the other women's apparatus has spent training on this event. The girls are only required to show one acrobatic series, but at this level of competition we see more. There's a small wobble there at the end of that second somersault. Of course, in the finals we're seeing here tonight, if they show that additional difficult tumbling series, they receive some bonus from the judges. Milosevic also showing the required difference in the tempo and rhythm. Round off, double back somersault. That's a good routine from Milosevic of this Romania. And as always, most gymnasts breathe a very big sigh of relief when they finish that event. Let's look at that mount. We can see that that was a round off approach and she did a back handspring up onto the beam, leading straight into her first acrobatic series, Flick Flack, Flick Flack, Corbett Salto. She has every reason to be delighted. A 9.75 and equal second. Surely a crowd pleaser here as she comes originally from Queensland, concentrating, very determined. Round off, back handspring onto the beam, well executed. Good start, gives the gymnast tremendous confidence. Excellent leap series. Kylie always has sharp, expressive movements of her arms and head, and that only adds to the quality of the performance. Very good tumbling series.
superb pivot, total control, very confident on this apparatus. Demonstrating flexibility, so difficult to be in that position on the balance beam. The assurance of this young lady is complete at this stage. That's a very novel connection to Carly. Now she's only got this mount to go. One last passage down the beam, a stable landing and she's in the medals. Round off. Double back, that's good. That's a good landing. And Kylie knows it. And doesn't the crowd know it? Very pleased. Even Coach Ju Ping is pleased with Kylie's performance on the beam. And the Chinese. Let's have a look at Kylie's very good work on the balance beam. Is that dismount? Everything rests with this landing. Double solo. Knees are apart, but that's a stable landing. Well done, Kylie Shadbolt. And that could be enough to get her into the medals, a 9.8. With the face of a porcelain doll, Yang Bo of China, who surely sets the world standard on this apparatus. Difficulty, composition, everything that's required. She was, in fact, the beam medalist on this event in the first Australian Grand Prix held here in Brisbane in 1989. The presence of this young lady is exceptional. But the beam knows no favours for anyone. There's a wobble, my goodness. That sort of error in the finals will certainly remove her from medal contention. The height, the amplitude and the expression of this gymnast is a textbook for every other gymnast. Look at that leap. Unfortunately, the overbalance, it's such a difficult movement. Demonstrating her flexibility. Full twisting Corbett Soldo, trademark of the Chinese. Credit to the young Chinese gymnast that she's working so well. She realizes she's had two wobbles at this stage. Dismount to come. Round off. Double back Soldo. Oh, solid. Very solid. But there were two minor blemishes to that routine. And unfortunately, that will take her from the medals. Yang Bo, a seasoned competitor, will still continue, does the job but will be disappointed because she knows she can do better. Let's have a look at that beautiful high tumbling and amplitude. And there's the wobble. You can see where her foot has landed just slightly off the beam, which caused her to lose the marks. So some uncharacteristic small faults from Yang Bo, a 9.775. The elegant gymnast, Monique Allen of Australia, the national champion, taking on the balance beam. Very difficult and courageous start. She'll be noticed by the judges for trying that. Monique's line on the balance beam is absolutely magnificent. First acrobatic series, flick flack, lay out, step out, oh solid. Plenty of composure at this stage. Monique always looks so tall when she works on the beam, and that's a sign of her good dance preparation. Just a small deviation there with the arm. Flick flack, Corbett Saldo, she's regained well. The linking of the 
acrobatic movements with the gymnastic or dance movements is very important. They must be harmoniously linked. Beautiful side leap there. She's moving well. And Monique preparing for her dismount. Most important to stay on the beam. Push off, double back salto, slight hop. But Monique, beautiful routine from Monique Allen of Australia. She's pleased with that performance. She was the last finalist on beam. Again, always difficult to follow such excellent performances. She realises she ha has had a couple of blemishes, but that's still a superb routine by Australia's Monique Allen. And in replay, let's have a look at Monique's mount. Very difficult. From the beat board, straight up to a handstand, which she holds. Splits. And finally, to straddle the beam. Great confidence to begin with such a difficult mount on the balance beam. What a night for Australian gymnastics then, with Monique Allen getting a second gold medal, 9.85 the winning score, Shirley Ying of China second, 9.825, and Kylie Shadbolt getting another medal for Australia, the bronze, with a score of 9.8. Her favourite apparatus, and one that she does so supremely well. Kylie's tra trademark in this event is that she gives everything to her work. Just watch this tumbling pass. Round off, flick flack, full twisting double solo, well landed. And look at this expression, the feeling, and the presence of Kylie on floor. The height in her leaps. The gymnast floor exercise has a duration of 1 minute 10 seconds to 1 minute 30. They're required to use the entire floor area. Second tumbling pass, double pike solo, that's solid again. The girls must show three acrobatic series. One of them must contain two somersaults. Kylie has done that in both tumbling passes. Finishing every single movement in this floor routine. Last tumbling pass, double back. Oh, it's solid too. This is a good routine. Stunning routine from Kylie Shadbolt of Australia. Look at her joy. She's responded well to the home crowd here. So she should. She was the first woman in Australia to earn a gold medal in international competition. Let's view one of these tumbling passes. Round door, back handspring. There's the full twisting double back somersault. The highest diffly in tumbling passes exhibited here by Australia's Kylie Shadbolt. And that gives the others something to chase, a 9825. One very happy coach and gymnast. Following Kylie Shadbolt is another Australian, 13-year-old Joanna Hughes, who is competing in her second final in international competition. Look at her determination. She knows what she has to do. Joanna, the rising star of Australian women's gymnastics. She's competed in one final tonight, the vault. This is her second final. And waiting those agonizing moments for your music to start. First tumbling pass. Round off. Back handspring. Full twisting double soto. Oh, beautiful. Very clean landing. When you consider she's only 13 years of age, and yet she can perform that level of element. And also the amplitude in her leaps. 
Now it's important for the girls to be very expressive with their movements, but not theatrical. Second tumbling pass, whip back solo, double back, oh, solid again. You don't get better landings than that from any gymnast. This routine lacks a little of the presence of a Kylie Shadbolt, but it certainly has excellent high tumbling. She also works very well to her music. Very important to be in harmony with your music. There's complete license for the gymnasts to create movements that suit their music. The only special requirement for these routine are three tumbling passes. And here's the third one. Double soldo. Oh, superb. Joanna Hughes of Australia. Excellent routine. She's delighted with that, and so is the rest of Australia. Peggy, when you consider this is her second international competition, what maturity for our youngest Australian international. And what a future for Australian gymnastics. Look at the height on this double back somersault. Amazing power and grace in a gymnast so young. Nine, eight, seven, five. Isabella Lakatus of Romania. And Romanians, very good on the floor. They've developed original choreography and set the trends many times on floor routines, particularly with their dance and linking movements. Three tumbling passes, round door, flick flag, full twisting double solo, that's solid. A very traditional choice of music. Good leap series, showing different movements with the legs, not just the traditional split leap. At this stage, the interpretation of music is excellent. Second tumbling pass, whip, solo, double solo. Oh, there's a stumble forward. That's approximately a two-tenths deduction there. Choice of music is very important at this level of competition. The crowd getting involved. Last tumbling pass. Round door, flick flack, double soldo, another good landing. To traditional music, Isabella Lakatus of Romania with her floor routine. We'll have a look at some of her tumbling and replay. There's the whip back, right up to the double back salto. Slightly low, and there's the step forward out of that salto. She was fourth on the floor in the all-around, and a 9-8 has her currently third. And here's the lady to beat in this floor final tonight, Lavina Milosovic of Romania. She comes to this finals ranked number one from the all-around the other night and in fact is the European Junior Floor Champion. Has all the credentials, what can she do here tonight? A most unusual start to a floor routine. We've usually seen them start on standing up. The endless possibilities in choreography are shown well here. Another good choice of music. First tumbling pass, whip solo. Full twisting double solo, that's a stable landing. Again demonstrating the Romanian's flair for choreography on the floor. 
for one and a half twist to another one and a half twist and punch front, a most difficult tumbling pass. Change in tempo here, that's important. Again, the crowd on side with this routine. As spectators, if we're enjoying this routine, chances are the judges are as well. This performance exemplifies why gymnastics is amongst one of the world's most beautiful but athletic sports. Last tumbling pass, round door, flick flack. Full twisting double solo, two full twisting double solos in this routine, first pass and last pass. What a performance. That's the performance to beat here tonight on floor exercise. A superb routine, more difficulty than required. She has to be looking at a medal. In replay now, some of these extreme tumbling passes. One and a half twist step out. Again to a one and a half twisting back somersault, immediate punch front. Plenty of content in that tumbling line. And that marvellous display has overshadowed those before at 9-9, the score to beat now. Ludmila Stokchataya of the Soviet Union, the final competitor in the floor. She's very confident and she knows that she can take a medal with a good routine. Watch this first tumbling pass. Double layout, but she's out of the area. What a disappointment. The only gymnast to perform that double layout in the girls' competition. And another gymnast who's chosen that crowd-pleasing traditional music. Very novel piece. Excellent ground level movements here. There's obvious harmony between the movement and music. Pick up and tempo here for the tumbling pass. Round off. Whip back. Flick flack. Double pike soldo. A oh, solid landing. This is a great routine, but she's had one blemish at this stage. Still possible she's in the medals. Everything depends on this last tumbling pass. Randall, flick flack. Full twisting double solo. Oh, beautiful. Excellent landing. Will it be enough to impress the judges? Superb routine. Waving to the crowd for their support. Ludmila Stokjataya of the Soviet Union. Being congratulated by her teammate. Let's have a look at this unique movement on the floor. Beautifully choreographed and well executed. But the error on the first pass cost her a medal, I think, 9-8 to Stotch Attire. And there are the official placings in the floor exercise, women's apparatus, Lavinia Milosovic of Romania, Joanna Hughes of Australia and Kylie Shadbolt. So second and third for the Australians, a completion of a great night for Australian gymnastics. Well, a very 